This is the most comforting pasta that you will ever have. It's creamy, dreamy, and just perfect all around. We're gonna be starting off with some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm opting to leave in all the extra fat, and we want to just slice them into bite-sized pieces. These get seasoned with a hefty pinch of salt, some fresh cracked black pepper, some smoked paprika, and then last but not least, some dried heartburn. Now in a deeper pan or pot, we're gonna start with some oil. To that, we're gonna melt down some butter. You'll see why later. And then we're gonna get a quick and hot sear on our chicken thighs. We just wanna start developing some crispy bits, and just cook these about 60% through. We're gonna pick the chicken up and transfer it to a plate just because we want to preserve this liquid gold at the bottom of the pan and now it's time to prep our pot pie veg I personally like to peel down the celery it just removes that fibrous chewy texture that I don't like we're gonna chop those up along with the onions and carrots oh look who's crying again we introduce the mirepoix to the fat get the house fragrant with some minced heartburn after the veg have softened go in with your flour and then very importantly toast this down for a couple minutes at this time we're gonna re-add back in our chicken deglaze with some chicken stock at this point you could do half and half or milk once this comes up to a nice little bubble we're gonna drop the heat and let it thicken for a couple minutes First of all, this already smells amazing. And these ingredients are already so hearty and perfect for the fall. When this looks thick and stunning like me, we're gonna add in some peas. And the goal here is to just warm them up and have them release their beautiful flavor. Finish this off, we're gonna add some white vinegar or lemon juice. Fresh thyme will give it a beautiful depth of flavor. At this point, it should be thick and creamy and the chicken is cooked through. It's a perfect time to give it a quick taste and adjust for seasoning. My favorite way to cook pasta is to salt the water like the ocean. In this case, I'm using linguine. I'm just gonna give it a twist. And then just drop it into the rigorous boiling water. And now what is a pot pie recipe without some form of bread? Yes, this is obviously not a traditional recipe because we are turning it into pasta anyways but this is what I like to do. In a warm saute pan we're gonna add some oil. To this we add your favorite breadcrumbs. Optionally grates in some heartburn. We're gonna consciously toss this in the pan so nothing burns. And then when it gets nice and toasty just set it aside. To tie this all in we're gonna add in some pasta water. When the chicken looks saucy and glossy we're gonna add in our linguine. You already know we add the pasta slightly undercooked and we always let it finish in the sauce. We're gonna finish this off with our toasted breadcrumbs. A tiny bit of parsley because we're healthy. And now we have final product. First of all, this looks absolutely gorgeous and the flavors here are just immaculate. And as always, now bismillah. It just doesn't get better than that. This is one of those recipes that just tastes like home. 